welcome to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka sa YouTube channel ko, huwag niyo kakalimutan ng subscribe, notification bell all, para updated kayo sa lahat ng upload video ko. Mag-like din. Kung gusto kayo at ito na ito, share nyo na lang po. Maraming salamat. By the way, congratulations, President Joe Biden, for being the 46th President of United States. After all the drama from the Trump admin, the fake news, the horrible capital riot last January 6, the, the under rise, God, the democracy indivisible, has to carry out the peaceful transfer of power as we have for more than two centuries. As we look ahead. In our uniquely American way, restless, bold, optimistic, and set our sights on the nation we know we can be and we must be. I thank my predecessors of both parties for their presence here today. I thank them from the bottom of my heart. And I know... I know the resilience of our Constitution and the strength, the strength of our nation, as does President Carter, who I spoke with last night, who cannot be with us today, but whom we salute for his lifetime of service. I've just taken the sacred oath each of those patriots have taken. The oath first sworn by George Washington. But the American story depends not on any one of us, not on some of us, but on all of us, on we, the people, who seek a more perfect union. This is a great nation. We are good people. And over the centuries, through storm and strife, in peace and in war, we've come so far. We still have far to go. We'll press forward with speed and urgency, for we have much to do the in this winter of peril in the UN, and significant US possibilities. To much to repair, much to restore, of much to heal, much to build, and much to gain. Execute orders right Few people after in our nation's history have been more challenged, execute orders or are found a time more challenging and or difficult the than the time we're in now. Once in a century virus, that silently stalks the country. It's taken as many lives in one year as America lost in all of World War II. Millions of jobs have been lost. Hundreds of thousands of businesses closed. A cry for racial justice, some 400 years in the making, moves us. The dream of justice for all will be deferred no longer. A cry for survival comes from the planet itself. A cry that can't be any more desperate or any more clear. And now, a rise of political extremism, white supremacy, domestic terrorism that we must confront and we will defeat. <laughs> to overcome these challenges, Restore the soul and secure the future of America requires so much more than words. It requires the most. <laughs> Speaker Pelosi, Leader Schumer, Leader McConnell, Vice President Pence, my uh, distinguished guests, my fellow Americans. This is America's day. This is Democracy's Day, a day of history and hope, of renewal and resolve. Through a crucible for the ages, America has been tested anew, and America has risen to the challenge. Today, we celebrate the triumph not of a candidate, but of a cause, the cause of democracy. The people, the will of the people, has been heard. And 
the will of the people has been heeded. We've learned again that democracy is precious. Democracy is fragile. At this hour, my friends, democracy has prevailed. I have type 2 diabetes.